This short presentation introduces a technique used by quantity surveyors known as measuring overall and deducting. Let's consider an example. Here we have a plan of a kitchen and in this kitchen we have an island worktop. What we are hoping to do is calculate the area of quarry tiles we need in the kitchen. Now let's look at both techniques. The first technique I'm going to introduce is the technique of measuring overall and then deducting. So here we have our kitchen plan. To calculate the area of quarry tiles, we would measure the overall area of the kitchen. So we would establish the area of A, B, C, D. We would then deduct out the area for our island worktop. Note, this would mean two calculations. Now let's look at the alternative approach, which is one that you're most likely to adopt early on in your quantity surveying career. This is the piecemeal approach. So again, we have the same kitchen, but instead of measuring overall and deducting, we split those quarry tile areas into our four distinct areas. A, B, C, D. Hopefully you can see that this piecemeal approach is inefficient. We have four calculations compared to just two calculations when we measure overall and deduct. As a quantity surveyor, every time we put pen to paper there is a likelihood of human error. It is also more time intensive. So as quantity surveyors we must strive to adopt techniques which simplify the process, are more time effective and also avoid the likelihood of human error. Now let's have a look at the worked example. Here we have a site area A, B, C, D and the site is four and a half metres in length by six metres wide but we have this shaded area of 1.5 metres by 3 metres wide, which is not part of the site area. So using the principle of measuring overall and then deducting, what we are going to do is first establish the overall site area of A, B, C, D, and then we are going to deduct off the shaded area. Let's have a look at our takeoff. So first of all, our site area A, B, C, D, we have 4.5 metres in length by 6 metres wide, giving us a total area of 4.5 by 6 metres equals 27 metres squared. Now let's look at our area we wish to deduct. That area is 1.5 metres in length by 3 metres, giving us a total deduct area of 4.5 metres. Now note how we present this. We do this by the use of brackets. So these brackets denote that we have a deduct area. Note that when we square, the squared total also has brackets. Now let's work out our total site area. So as before, we add up everything above the line. So we have 27 metres squared less 4.5 metres, giving us a site area of 22.5 metres squared.